Hello to all Android lovers! In this video, I'll be showing you 10 best apps to help you film better videos on your Android device, because the apps I'm about to show you today are going to offer you some extra features and more manual control. Let's not waste a minute, here we go! Hi everyone, my name is Roman, you're watching Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making creative videos, and I keep saying that nowadays one can create great content using almost any gear. Today videos that have been filmed on a smartphone get millions of views. This is why I have selected 10 best apps that are going to help you improve your filming skills and get the most of your Android device camera. Seven of them are free for most of the features and options you might need from them. The last three are bonus apps that are paid, but trust me, they deserve your attention. Alright, the first on the list is an app called ProCam X, but some know it by the name HD Camera Pro. Anyway, with this app, you're gonna get a great suite of manual options. You'll be able to adjust your shutter speed, white balance, ISO, etc. There are lots of other settings, but let me warn you, if you're crazy about manual control and endless lists of settings, this app is hardly the number one. Some in my this list have even more options to tweak. But the good news is, the interface of ProCam X is pretty clear and would not be too scary for a beginner. It's easy to navigate and find just the tool you're looking for, it's not overwhelmed with tons of features you probably won't ever use. Yet what surprised me, this app obligates you to shoot only in default FPS, which is, I guess, 30 FPS, not such a lovely surprise, I would say. I must tell you that there's a free version of this app, ProCam X Lite, but, as you can guess, it has some limitations. Those refer to the video quality and resolutions. Before I move on to the number two in my list, let me share a great deal for those who film videos on a phone, but edit them on a PC or Mac. Movavi offers a great set of useful programs for YouTube creators, and just right now a huge sale is underway on the official Movavi website. There you're gonna find a lot of hot deals that include best-selling Movavi apps and effects. The larger the bundle, the greater the discount. For example, you can check out a special offer that includes Movavi Video Editor Plus in Super Intro Bundle at a 30% discount. It's just perfect for beginners. But if you're already an experienced user of Movavi Video Editor Plus or Video Suite and just want to add more effects to your collection, you might want to try the one-year subscription to Movavi Effects Store, because it will give you access to all the effects that are already on the site and all of those that will be released within the next 12 months from the date of purchase. The cost of this plan at the discount is a few times less than the total cost of all the Movavi effects. I will leave the discount links to both deals in the description, where you can also find another link to a page with all the special offers. Enjoy shopping! Now back to the list of best free Android camera apps. Manual Camera DSLR, another user-friendly app, I would even say more user-friendly than ProCam X, that brings your Android camera to the next level. On the left and right, you'll see the familiar settings icons you may have seen in other video capture apps or in the camcorder menu, it's all quite intuitive. And if you click on this gear-shaped icon, a list of all possible settings will pop up. I should note that the list is not overwhelming, everything is clear and understandable. I won't dwell on white balance, ISO and manual focus, as these settings are available in almost every application of this kind. Instead, I'd like to mention particularly useful features that you don't see very often in other apps. Manual camera DSLR features a histogram and focus beacon. Also, you can choose the bitrate and FPS and you can change the quality and video format too. Just like with ProCam X, the developers offer a free version of the application, it's called Manual Camera DSLR Lite, and a paid pro version. The free version has limitations on recording time, resolution, and also shows ads. 
Moving on, open camera is one of the most popular alternative camera apps for Android on the market and the reason is obvious. This app is open source, which makes it completely free and also there are no ads. It's hard to call it user friendly, but after hours of practice, you'll probably find it handy and useful. I'd like to mention one great feature of it that's very easy to use. You can lock the exposure of your image and then change your focus from the background to closer objects completely separately, so you can essentially change the exposure separately from your focus points. Another advantage, you can set the bitrate of video recording. The higher the bitrate, usually the higher the quality, but also larger video files occupying the memory of your device, so don't forget that. There are disadvantages too. For instance, the zoom can go only up to 10 times despite the fact that many modern phones can go up to 50 times and higher. Also, again, since it's an open source app, not all the features can work well on every Android device. Finally, the interface is too basic in my opinion. Now before we proceed to the next app of today's list, let me tell you about the sponsor of this episode of Movavi Vlog, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes on topics including filmmaking, photography, illustration, design and even more. It's a place where you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. And today I really want to share with you one great class on this platform. Well, competition on YouTube is so high that new creators must make eye-catching videos from the very beginning, otherwise they will just lose to thousands of other channels that can do it better. But the question is how to make an awesome video that stands out with simple means. That's why I recommend you check out the class called DIY Cinematography – Make Your Video Look Like a Movie by Ryan Booth. In this 40-minute class, this guy Ryan walks you through his creative process of how to make something look beautiful, international and of higher production value in a quick and easy way, essentially making a video look like a movie. No need for fancy equipment, technical know-how or large film crew, Ryan will give you a behind the scenes look at how anyone can walk into a location and bring it to life in the most compelling way possible. Since Skillshare is created specifically for learning, there are no ads, so you can stay focused on the things you like and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1000 of Movavi Vlog subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership, so you can explore your creativity. Well, click on the link below to check out the classes Skillshare has to show you. Enjoy! The next app on the list is Pextica. Well, this is a very fun and unusual app. First of all, you tweak the setting by pressing the screen like when you're normally locking the focus and exposure. And then all the other manual options come up so you can change the exposure, white balance, ISO, etc. after you have touched the screen just once. There's also a range of creative features in this app which pretty much none of the other ones have, like uh, this planet thing or panorama. Also, you can actually capture GIFs. I really enjoy this little feature. You can film something and it will turn it into a GIF for you. So I like Pixtica for its modern interface, easy learning curve and creative features and for being free, of course. Number 5 is the app called Bacon Camera and no, it's not an app to film bacon. Strange name, but whatever, some name their product after a fruit, so why not call an app Bacon? Anyway, this is actually a quite decent app. Here you're gonna find manual controls such as focus, white balance, exposure, ISO and more. Some other features include GIF support, a panorama mode and time shots. In general, Bacon Camera is rather easy to use, but I won't call the interface pretty, it's just ok, yet some find it super handy. Again, there's a free version and a paid pro version of this app. By the way, the pro version is surprisingly cheap. 
Number 6 is Camera FV5. This one doesn't only feature a simple and clear interface, but also looks cool, don't you think? The most essential settings and tools are in the bottom panel. Here you can adjust the white balance by selecting a ready-made preset or enter the exact temperature value. Also, you can select between several focus modes, adjust the focus and lock it. If you open the more advanced settings, you can adjust what features to show on the main screen. Screen. For example, you can add a histogram, another useful tool used by professional videographers. Besides that, you'll find the flash tool, ISO selection and ability to monitor sound through headphones. By the way, while you're recording a video, the app will display a volume bar, so you can be sure that the sound is clear and there are no peaks. The Cinema FV5 app is available in a paid and free version. The free version has limitations. For example, you will have fewer choices in video resolution settings. However, the paid version of the application is quite affordable. The next one is Footage Camera. The interface looks simple and easy to navigate. The controls are down at the bottom, so you can flick through them to see the different options, so it's gonna feel very familiar for, I guess, everyone. Footage Camera allows you to switch from manual focus and exposure to auto very quickly. It's a really intuitive layout. Also, you get slow motion features and you can choose the bitrate of your recording, which is definitely worth mentioning. There are some limitations in the free version of the app, but I'm sure for most creators it will be enough. But note that with all the free features, you are still limited to 5 minute recording. One important disadvantage. Footage camera won't let you change the frame rate. At least I didn't find that opportunity in the free version of the app. And now the promised bonus. Three paid apps that can be ignored when it comes to the best apps for Android. Filmic Pro. Android camera lovers have known and loved this app for a long time. And here's why. It gathered a lot of professional features that are combined in a very compact and clear interface. Filmic Pro is probably the closest you will get to turning your Android phone into a professional filmmaker's tool that can be an alternative to DSLR cameras. And it's not even about the number of settings and features. Perhaps you can find an app that has even more. Filmic Pro offers a wide range of the most important settings, and I must say, they are very smartly arranged. Everything at your fingerprints, everything is very handy, and it's a pleasure to use it. Just look at that focus wheel, and here's the exposure one. Beautiful. Here are some extra features worth mentioning. You can adjust color profiles and curves, adjust shadows and highlights, and RGB channels. In addition, the autos have done a great job with profiles of various third-party video capture devices. There are profiles for DJI Osmo, Zhiyun, and other stabilizers. So Filmic Pro is a real gift for an advanced video maker. However, this application is paid, and it will cost you about $20. Pro Take, the next bonus app, which is also paid, but this time it's a subscription, so unfortunately, until you pay around 18 bucks for the first year of usage, you won't even get a chance to record videos using manual controls in this Pro Take app. So is it even worth it? Well, yes. ProTake is easy to use and it's fast to use, which is very important in order not to miss great shots. You can easily change the frame rate, exposure, shutter speed, ISO, resolution, and bitrate. I specifically love the simple controls, the exposure slash ISO slash shutter speed and focus slash zoom wheels on the left and on the right. Awesome. Another cool thing about ProTech, the full screen mode that instantly clears the screen so you are able to check the framing. Super handy. Why don't all such apps have that? Number 10 in my list is the app called MC Pro 24 FPS. This one is also a bonus app since it's paid, it costs about $20, but I simply cannot ignore this one. The reason why I cannot avoid it – color profiles. If color grading is important for you and you like experimenting with different log profiles, here you'll find a variety of those. 
Besides, the app gives you lots of manual controls and can easily compete with the others on my list. You can adjust focus, ISO, shutter speed, exposure, frame rate, resolution, etc. I guess the interface, how pretty it is and how easy to use it is, this is what affects the choice of an app since most of them have a wide range of features. I've mentioned the variety of lock profiles, but there's another special feature I found in MC Pro 24 FPS. The app allows you to set the focus range and lock it, so the camera won't go beyond certain focus points and you can be sure you won't miss the focus when performing focus pull tricks. Well, guys, this is the point where I tell you thank you for watching this episode of Mobile Vlog because it was top 10 Android apps for filming that would allow you to bring your shots to the next level. And in case this video was useful for you, I hope it was, please consider liking it, subscribing and hitting the notification bell. My name is Roman, I will see you very soon.